Hey, Cardo, music on. Music on. So when talking Bluetooth mesh DMC comms, a funny thing happens, and we see it all the time. We run into a lot of people, a lot of riders, where they've never had a comm device on their helmet, and they're totally cool with that, right? Not, they have no interest in the world to talk to somebody else, stream music, in fact, that's part of the reason why they get on the bike. This crazy thing happens, whether, whether their buddy forces them to have one, or say they bite the bullet and they put one on there anyways, very quickly, you see this transition, and it happens as short as in one ride. Well, I could talk to you? just by talking normal, this is pretty cool. Probably go right here, right? I think so. I like some of this old architecture, like these buildings, kind of like Art Deco style a little bit. Yeah. Uh, I can tell you when I have to go to the bathroom? Yeah, okay, yeah. I can, you know, I can ask you if it's clear when I'm coming around that big rig, and you can just say, yeah, come on up. In, in a very short period of time, you see, you see riders that are brand new to it and almost had a stigma against it, lean into saying, yeah, you know what? This is awesome, I get it now, this is cool. The ease of use plays a big role in that. DMC, Cardo's DMC was, was strike number one as far as like, it just turn it on and you go, it works really well. But natural voice, natural voice commands is something special, it's something unique and it's never been done before. Voice commands have been around in this industry for quite some time. In fact, Cardo with the G9 was the very first. Natural voice, which is found in Cardo's Freecom 4 Plus, PackTalk Bold, PackTalk Slim, this is one step operation. You say, hey Cardo in the command in just a normal cadence and it works. Example, hey Cardo, volume up. Cardo, volume up. It's gonna give you an increment of volume. I'm not touching any buttons. More examples, hey Cardo, battery status. She might say full, she might say 50%, she might say 25%. At that point, you better charge it. But she's gonna answer you with your battery status. Hey Cardo, battery status. Battery status, full. The Hey Cardo commands, they sit inside the unit itself. They don't need your phone for anything. Hey Cardo, radio on. Hey Cardo, next station. Hey Cardo, music on. Uh, hey Cardo, volume down. Hey Cardo, dot, dot, dot. There's 20 of those. You load some of them to your memory bank and your Cardo takes care of that. Now, on the flip side of that, or on the other segment, you can, you can pull up your smartphone. Hey Siri, okay Google. Now you're telling your phone to wake up. So example, hey Siri, you wait for the little doo-doo. What's the weather in Sturgis? Boom, she's gonna tell you what the weather in Sturgis is. And that's your phone doing the magic, not the Cardo unit. Your Cardo's just saying, hey phone, wake up. The takeaway is the Hey Cardo commands, those live inside the Cardo unit itself, and that it can do quite a bit. When you say, hey Siri, okay Google, wait for that little tone from your phone, say, open Spotify. Any command that your phone can do, you can access it right from the Cardo unit. And that's natural voice, extremely unique, and it's actually voice commands you'll use. Hey Cardo, mute audio. Mute audio.